beschädigt, er zieht nicht mehr. Wir sind erledigt. Raus hier. Lovely, wasn't it? So, <clears throat> yeah, it's one of those weekends. Five times events, always lovely. But, you know, yeah, the good news, however, is it is a massive World of Tanks event, as you can see. And that includes, until, until the August 19th, a free tank. All you have to do is log in and you get this BT-7 artillery. And I will discuss that in a second because there's a billion other things also going on right now. Obviously we have the five times weekend which means that well if you can get a win in and make it a decent one you're gonna get a ton of experience points. If you can't well, then it's just another five times weekend, and let's be honest, what do you expect? Um, but there's also a ton of sales, and I do mean a ton. Uh, you can see right down there in my uh, slot section that, uh, that garage slots are half off. So is training and retraining for crew skills. They're only 100 gold each right now. And I am double checking right now to make sure that I get the dates right. Because I've done this before. <laughs> Here we go. One of the tanks, 5th anniversary. Because, you know, I really should have just opened this before I started. Here we have, obviously, the gift tank. We have placed in the top five XP earners after a battle. This is tier three or higher, repeatable, random battles only, not available on daily first victories. Reward, double experience points. This comes with a garage slot, 50% crew. I've obviously not used them. Um, Premium variant of the BT-7, of course, which I haven't played in forever. I probably should have done that before I started this. Um, let's see. Massive live stream going on. So, just check in. Uh, that's... Actually, that doesn't have a date on it. My bad. <laughs> How could I, how could I already ha how could I have been saying I'm doing this and then not have managed to be more organized? I do apologize. Um, let's see. Ah, here we go. Obviously the five times experience points. We have 50% off all equipment credits, 50% off garage slots, of course, camouflage emblems and inscriptions also half off, as well as the barrack slots, and I already said retraining. And... Regular tank destroyers tiers 2 through 5. 6 and 7 are 30% off. Regular vehicles tier 8 through 10 are 15% off. And premium vehicles tier 8 are 15% off gold. So that's a lot of sales for those of you with more gold and credits than I have. Missions. Tons of missions as well. Party hard, 20,000 experience points over any number of battles. Once per account, get you an extra day of premium. TD targeting, destroy at least one enemy tank destroyer in a battle. Repeatable tier 3 or up. 50% crew, ex plus 50% crew experience, uh, random battles only. Removing guns from the fight, destroy two enemy vehicles in a battle. Random battles only again, must be a tank destroyer. Must be in a tank destroyer. Tiers 3 plus, repeatable, plus 20 experience points. Damage output. Deal 5,000 points of damage over any number of battles. Random battles only. Still tank destroyers. Tier 3 plus, repeatable. 
get a uh, fire automatic fire extinguisher and a large first aid kit. Cleanup crew. Complete removing guns from the fight 15 times once per account. Plus 5% XP booster, 6 hour duration, no, no expiration dates. Consistent output. Complete damage output 10 times once per account. Personal reserves, 50% crew XP booster, 6 hour duration, no expiration. And TDs with honors. Complete both cleanup crew and consistent output once. Once per account, get free binocular te telescope. Um, also have premium shop bundles available Wednesday, August 12th, 4.20 PT, 7.20 ET. Ends Monday, August 17th, 4.20 PT, 7.20 ET. Um, yeah, I admit to being late on this, but I was moving, so I apologize. Uh, this tank, however, is available to the 19th. Um, Weekend Warrior Bundle. 1300 gold, 3 days premium account, plus an extra day of premium account, 10 bucks. 70 bucks gets you the WZ Triple One, a garage slot, 30 days premium account, 1750 gold. 34 bucks gets you the T3485M garage slot, 1000 gold, 30 days premium account, and for a limited time, 34 bucks gets you the Gross Tractor Krupp, which is premium German medium tank. Here we go. Uh, you can see I painted it and stuck shamrocks on it. This is a good crew trainer, especially for loaders. Uh, and I will link to my review of it in the uh, description. Plus a garage slot. 3750 gold, which I didn't get with mine. And 30 days of premium account. So, that is a lot of stuff going on and available, and those run till Monday, August 17th, 420PT, 720ET, and then this little honey again is available to the 19th, and all you have to do is just log in, and hey, it's a free premium tank, it, well, Till early morning 19th so you want to try to get it the 18th at least um so but yeah moving on to this little thing well let's have a quick look around the garage I won't cover everything you'll have to check it out yourself but you can see that everyone temporarily has five-year anniversary garage with all kinds of stuff we have and you can mouse over certain things um, sample is we have the Hall of Fame making the game better together domination match mode um, so you cannot actually some of these can't be highlighted sadly E25 now seeking vengeance in battle after being removed of course we have the secret weapon the uh, rainbow cases that you dropped on people. Down here we have Carl. I actually missed this one sadly. This is last year's April 1st prank. We have, and you really have to do some looking. We have the T23 and yeah uh, this is tier 8 removed. We have a T52 winter showdown. I missed that game mode. Tank racing, I really miss that game mode. KV5, <laughs> due to numerous complaints received from radio operators. Is anyone surprised? Tank football, the KV, which was then split into KV and KV2. Game balance apparatus, Dragon Ridge, which keeps getting removed. Yeah, there's a ton of stuff everywhere, and you just have to go hunting to try to find it. <laughs> Storm Tiger maybe will be introduced. <laughs> yeah. You can see there's a World of Warships exhibit over there. Of course, World of Tanks Blitz. Yeah, and it's all kinds of stuff. There's, we don't, I don't know what that is. And there's even stuff down here underneath. 
So you have to get really nosy to try to find everything. It's pretty cool. So yeah, I think I have dawdled long enough. Let's talk about the BT-7 Artillery Free Gift Tank Tier 3 Light. And sadly it is Tier 3 Light. Despite its name, you can't use it as artillery, though it does have pretty good gun elevation. Standard issue gun depression, though. And, yeah, I love this thing. I really don't need the remove speed governor on there. I really just keep it there because I can. Um, and I am using 100% crew with mentor, snapshot, and off-road driving which certainly doesn't hurt but let's see now we have 220 hit points it's okay awesome power to weight ratio oh, 500 horsepower uh, 5.6 top speed it says that but it's even before you add in lend lease oil and remove speed governor it's really easy to go above that on flat ground uh, 76 46 traverse speed, okay. Hull armor, turret armor, what do you expect from a tier 3 light? The shell and damage and penetration we'll get to a sec. 12.5 rate of fire. Gun has about, I have the gun down to about a 4 second reload. Which, for, t for someone who's used to playing higher tiers, is okay. But it really is slow at tier 3. But it's a 76 millimeter gun, so 40 traverse speed, 290 view range, and 300 signal range. So, bleh. Um, the gun. The gun is interesting. It is this tier two 76 millimeter KT28, only available on this. Fires only HE and AP. Um, slow rate of fire, average penetration. This is where it gets interesting. HE has 30, has is the 38, while AP is the 37. That's right. Armor piercing out of that has less penetration than high explosive. And you can see that here where you go 29 to 48, 28 to 46. And HE, of course, does more damage 123 to 250, 83 to 138, and it has a 1.9 meter burst range. Um, dispersion 0.6, aim time 2.4. It is bad especially for this tier um but yeah so we have a high explosive shell that does more penetration than armor piercing um i really haven't fired any ap out of this you really should just spam ag and well i don't know why i never just sold off my ap for more ag but oh well so it's an interesting mix of characteristics. It's stupid fast, and it gets to that speed instantly. Um, the roof speed governor is mostly just for if I have a dead driver or I'm going uphill or really need to be someplace. And the lend lease oil is because this thing earns well enough that I will always make more money than what than the 5k it costs for this. Um, vents, because vents... Uh, Christie suspension because you want to keep moving with paper mache armor this thing has to keep moving gun lane drive because it's on sale <laughs> and this thing needs all the help it can get aiming um, other options cyclone filter maybe um, you know especially if you're running the move speed governor constantly um, coated optics, binocular... First of all, we're going to throw away binocular telescope and camouflage because you don't want to be sitting still. Coated optics, eh, maybe. Toolbox, eh, maybe. Spall liner at this tier, no. Um, yeah, if you're bothering to put anything on, that's it. And I would probably camo it, but gold. Um, I, I could probably... I can... Yeah, I can afford to camo it, especially since it's on sale. So, but yeah, that's something for later. So yeah, this is a zippy little tank. Um, my stats in it are fairly crap because I've been playing high tier so long I keep forgetting that, oh, four seconds is a bad loading time down here. <laughs> but we're going to show some uh, stuff anyway, so...
let's zip on over to the uh, to a match, shall we? And here we are, Malenkova. Uh, you can see the usual new free premium tank spam. The BT-7 artilleries are everywhere. Um, yeah, I first thing I do is I run up here, and you can see I am going back and forth between 53 and somewhere in the 40s in terms of speed. Uphill. From a starting position of uphill. There's another BT-7 artillery. And this is a very fortunate top tier. Um, this thing is almost u useless if you're in a tier 5 game. Let's see. Let's nuke you. And then that Panzer 1C decides to, uh, yeah, I hate Panzer 1Cs. And killed my driver. And with a dead driver, eh, uh -huh, miss me. I am still able to just GTFO really quick. I mean, how many tanks can still get this fast, even, yes, downhill, with a dead driver? So, that's a pretty big advantage of this. Um, you can definitely feel the dead driver, especially when you're turning. But overall, it's not near as bad. And to be honest, you don't lose crew very often in this anyways. Um, you stand a much better chance of just dying because no armor. This thing must have been the bane of infantry, though. I mean, three machine guns and a 76 millimeter high explosive or canister gun. And yeah, I'm just uh, using this thing's ridiculous speed <laughs> to just zip on around down here and provide support as the entire hill caves in on itself. Another BT-7 artillery up there. trying to see if I can line up a shot. Nope, miss. This this gun is horribly inaccurate. Um it's a tier 3 derp gun is what it is. If you hadn't figured that out already. So, just rolling forward seeing if I can find something else to shoot. There's a Westby and a BT-7 artillery. We're just gonna splat the Westby. We're gonna miss the BT-7. We're gonna miss the BT-7. We're gonna run away from the BT-7. going to attempt to hit the BT-7 and instead we're going to die and miss again yeah the gun is horribly inaccurate but I think we've at the very least done a good job of showing the different uh, advantages and disadvantages of the BT-7 artillery and there's not much else to say it's a neat little tank it's certainly fast and it is, uh, well, it's very fast. Very fast, very nimble, and very fun. 
I don't pretend like I'm particularly good with it though. <laughs> So yeah, um, good luck getting your own, um, and take advantage of whatever deals you can, uh, those are some great deals out right now, and so yeah, this is Nick60 signing off, I will see you guys in the next vid, drive safe.